Alright, so, what an episode that was. The Doctor meets ghosts. First thing that came to my mind, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. So, not only did Ghostbusters come to mind, but the fact that it was an underwater base, it could be big enough to be a city if they built on top of some of the buildings. And this just reminded me of Rapture from the Bioshock series. So, thumbs up for that idea. Well done, Stephen Moffat. So, the idea that the TARDIS wasn't happy was quite good. Now, the reason I thought it was unhappy was because if they're ghosts, they can walk through any walls apart from that room because of it stops radio waves or something like that. I didn't really listen that much. I was too busy enjoying the fact that they're ghosts. I mean, how great is that? So yeah, I was quite surprised that the TARDIS was in panic mode and then the Doctor just like turns it off by putting the handbrake on. What a guy! I'd actually pay to see money to see the Doctor drive a real-life car. That'd be great. I don't know if he has or not, but I'll check that out later on. Anyway, so I thought that was great. Um, when the Doctor ran into the TARDIS that was in panic mode, I thought the ghosts were already going to be in there, but it turns out they weren't. Unless they had been already snooping around and the TARDIS panicked, and maybe that's what set it off. I don't know. Someone tell me why he got panicked. I should probably watch this again. Anyway, moving on. So, I thought everybody was great in this episode. I thought Clara was great, and it just made me even sadder that she's leaving. If you didn't already know that, oops. Anyway, the fact that the Doctor gets excited, but, like, by the ghosts, is just great enough. But he also gets excited because he, he has no idea what the writing on the wall is. And we all know it's big shit when the TARDIS can't translate it. But as we later learn, it's coordinates or something like that. Oh my god, looking at this image now, they're, very, they're marking on the far left. Looks like a TIE fighter from Star Wars. Isn't that great? So, I was waiting for some sort of twist, because uh, I could see, from the mo from the first time the ghosts walked up to the Doctor and Clara, him and that Victorian-looking guy, I could see they were speaking, and I assumed they were talking to each other, but I was wrong. They were saying something else, so, and it turned out to be the temple and other person and darkness and something like that. I really need to listen to this when I watch this. What is going on? I dropped the ball a few too many times today. Again, dropping the ball, probably should have said spoilers, but I'm pretty sure everybody has already seen this. I'll just edit some sort of text in the beginning. Anyway, um, I thought at the end that the Doctor becomes a ghost was pretty cool. I mean, the ghosts are supposed to have a skull-like appearance from an angle, but Peter Capaldi's ghost, he just looks like a skull. Like, that is supposed to be... His, just, his eyes just blacken, but it, his face literally looks like a skull. So, I'd like to see how he gets his bloody way out of this one. The rapscallion. Bloody nut job men's society. He always does that. He'll do it. Nobody bloody panic. I'll be fine. Alright, moving on. So, at the end of the episode, the Doctor goes back in time before the village is flooded. And I think uh, this is where he's going to meet this guy, who we haven't had a good look at yet. I think he'll meet this guy. I'm not entirely too sure. Um, the buildings do look a bit familiar from the next time trailer. And this creature is taken uh, directly from the Doctor Who uh, Series 9 trailer 2. So I, I was like, wait wait a minute, I've seen this somewhere. Let me, let me just go back. Let me just take a pay. Ugh, wait a minute, someone's bloody car alarm's going off. Hey, me shut up, I'm trying to make a video. Ugh, my neighbourhood, right? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you didn't waste too much of your time watching a review of Doctor Who. So, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. Let's see if we can get at least 5 likes, as in the first re review, we got over 200 views. And I'm bloody happy with that. And in the second one, I didn't even get over 20. So, I don't even know what to expect anymore. So, let's see if we can get over 5 likes, because that's how big I am. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'm out of here.